So the other day on Twitter, I decided to post uh, a tweet saying that the term gusano is a racial slur. For those of you don't, that don't know, gusano is a term that refers to Cuban people who are essentially bootlickers to capitalism uh, and like racist white culture. It's, um, it's in a way, if you add on the like pro-capitalism part, it, it's basically like, um, can, can I say this word? It's like it's like calling, it's like the the Cuban version of the word coon, uh, coon, coom. I almost said coom, coon. It's basically like that, which is racist. Uncle Tom and coon are racist, by the way. I'm sorry, I don't care what anybody says. That that's a racist word. Okay, hundred percent, hundred percent. So um, I tweeted that it was a a, a a racial slur, and people got really mad, like really really mad, and. Uh, a bunch of uh, uh, lefties on Twitter got really mad about it and started dogpiling me. Um, so <laughs> uh, I tweeted, oh yeah, and obviously this person, who is a tanky, by the way, um, said that this is the most lip shit I've ever seen Lamau from me saying, sorry, I don't like a slur specified to a particular ethnic group. Just use bootlicker, no problematic connotations. I got quote tweeted and this person said, this is the most lip shit I've ever seen. So I quote tweeted them and said, I'm taking the sock dem pill. This is not a meme. And it's not a meme. And I'll explain why in a second. Um, and I said I will make a video talking more in depth about where I am politically soon. And then I clarified, by the way, this won't change my content. I still like socialism. I just think advocating for it super hard is pointless in our current political climate where something like universal health care is still a controversial idea. I want to focus on more pragmatic and relevant goals for now. And capitalism is still cringe. Um, I want to say right now, I've seen a lot of dumb fucks on Twitter saying things like, hey, hey, Xander Hall changed his political position because people were mean to him on Twitter. People were mean to me on Twitter, and they are dumb fucks, and I do hate them. However, I have not changed any of my positions. Um, this is basically uh, at, a, at the max, literally just a change in my identity um, and like what I'm going to call myself and focus on a little bit. My positions haven't changed. Um, they, they really just haven't. Um, I'm still a socialist in the sense that I believe socialism is good. I am still anti-capitalist in the sense that I believe capitalism has a variety of um, unfixable flaws that will result in the exploitation and suffering of the working class. Um, these opinions just haven't changed. But the problem is, and the reason why I've decided to make this change is for a few reasons. I've had a really hard time when calling myself like a socialist or a communist or whatever. I've had a really hard time reaching out to a few groups of people. Uh, tankies and class reductionists being one of them because they just fucking incessantly call me a liberal for talking about social issues. And um, like libs. It's been, pretty, it's been pretty hard reaching out to libs and trying to pull them further left, identifying as a socialist or a communist. There's a lot of groups of people that just, when they hear the term socialist, when they hear the term communist, they, it just, their, bra their brain, it just flips a switch in their brain and they will not listen to a word you say. Um, and because of that, while my opinions haven't really changed, I kind of want to take on the label of sock dem or like, um, I, I, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm leaning towards sock dem right now. Uh, as a more broad label, especially because the policy, which I really want to get into policy now, um, I'm going to be doing a bit more research off stream and on stream, looking more into policy. That's that's like on the table right now. Um, I really want to start talking about um, practical, progressive policy that I can push for and candidates that support those policy that um, uh, uh, I can like throw my support behind. Um that, that's what I want to start doing. Um, that's that's my basic goal right now. Um, been watching Destiny again. I've watched Destiny uh, nonstop for the last like two year, like three years. Okay, so that has nothing to do with it. Yeah, like AOC, for example, throwing my support behind somebody like AOC. Um, like if I could, I would help with the canvassing for. Um, uh, 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 John Ossoff and the other guy, I don't remember his name right now. Um, that, that's what I would be doing. And obviously this doesn't mean I'm not going to criticize Joe Biden. I'm going to go pretty fucking hard 
on uh, uh, criticizing Joe Biden. Warnock, yes, thank you, Warnock. Um, you know, putting my, my support behind John Ossoff and, and Warnock um, in Georgia, because we do need to win the Senate. That's, I'm sorry, but there's really nothing we can fucking do um, that's that substantial in 2020 and onward through Biden's presidency if we don't have the Senate. We need to win the Senate really, really badly. Um, so that's what I'm going to focus more on now. I, I really want to focus, like, obviously, I'm still going to go pretty hard against capitalism when it becomes relevant or it comes up. I'm not going to be silencing my uh, numerous critiques of capitalism and why socialism is better. But I feel like when it comes to reaching out to more people, like, for example, let's say I'm doing a video on, like, a normie YouTuber who had a cringy political take. I'm not going to include that I'm a socialist in that video. I'm going to try to do it a bit more like, um, you know what? You know who I'm going to try to do it more like? Hassan. Do, have, do you guys have any idea how effectively Hassan Piker has radicalized people on, on uh, Twitch to the left? He's just playing uh, Cyberpunk so, right now. He's just playing Cyberpunk 2077 right now with uh, 11,000 viewers. But, like, Hassan's done a fantastic job of appealing to just, like, gamer bros and getting them into, like, at least progressive politics, sometimes even socialism. Um, I want to try to go about it more like that. Um, that that's, that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Uh, I, I really don't feel like I'm as effective as I can be, especially when it comes to modern contemporary politics and like stuff that's more, more on the table pr and pragmatic at the moment. Um, if I'm just like being too ideologue about it, right? Um, actually, there's a person who does this pretty well as well. Uh, my friend Denim's here. Um, my friend Denim's is a, and I also, I believe that, uh, I should clarify, I think sock Dems are leftists. I'm going to be honest. I genuinely do think sock Dems are leftists. Um, Denim's is a sock Dem. Look, there's a sock in her name right there. You see that? That's a sock. Um, and yet she doesn't like capitalism. She's a socialist, but she identifies as a sock Dem. So that's basically what I want to go about it with, uh, prag pragmatism. And also I don't want to be associated with, I don't want people to draw an association between me and tankies, class reductionists, and Nazbuls. I do not want a, a, a line drawn between me and them because it is very, very hard to reach out to like libs and bring them further left when they see um, people in like my side of Twitter, leftist Twitter, saying things like uh, trans pronouns are bourgeoisie identity politics. Do you really expect to be able to bring liberals further left when they think you're associated with people like that? Fuck no. No way. So, yeah, or Peter Coffin. When, when like, do you think when libs see somebody like Peter Coffin, it makes them want to become part of the left? Who the fuck said that? Do you, uh, she's banned off Twitter now, but she was like a pretty large figure on Twitter, over 50,000 followers. She, were, she wrote for, I think, Russia Today or something like that. She was like a Nazbul type. Had a massive like uh, um, dipshit tank or tanky and class reductionist following and um, talked about how like uh, trans pronouns are bourgeoisie identity politics. Um, but here's the problem, or here's the thing I want to point out. Um, me doing this is more in an, in an effort to push general, uh, like, political discourse further left in America. Um, I feel like if I can get larger online and grow more of a presence, you know, get into those AOC Among Us games, have um, maybe get big enough that I can that I can canvas for um, political candidates that have, like, a serious choice uh, chance of winning um, and, and having political uh, pull, pulling the political discussion in America further left— so it is safer for me to go, I guess you could say, a bit more mask off and to be able to identify as a socialist publicly and effectively pull people over more. My goal is to make it so that sock Dems are considered right wing within the Democratic Party and the le and the side and like the the pragmatic side of political discussion. How cool would that be? How cool would it be? I, I want you to imagine a world right now where Sock Dems are the new neoliberal or the new centrist in American um, uh, contemporary politics. Can you imagine a world like that where Sock Dems aren't left enough for most of uh, most uh, uh, left-leaning people in America? 
That's phenomenal. And that's the world that I'm trying to push forward. And this is going to involve me having to do a lot more research on candidates running in, in different races all around the country, um, as well as policy that they may push and, and advocating for very particular policy. Um, so uh, I still consider myself a leftist, obviously. But um, if this upsets any of you and you feel like you need to leave, leave. Um, you don't care about pragmatism. You don't care about actually influencing uh, the world or America to be better. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Um, and that's the problem. Uh, at, at the end of the day, uh, I don't think I'm powerful enough on my own to change the perception of leftists online. Uh, and in that respect, all I can really do is try to um, optically distance myself from those that are bad actors so that I can reach out to those that are um, uh, a bit more on the fence and pull them further left. What's pragmatism? Pragmatism is basically uh, not being an idiot. Pragmatism is doing what you think is the most likely to succeed, essentially. Engaging in politics in the sense of like, so for example, um, type posting on Twitter about how a how the revolution is any day now is not pragmatic, um, while voting for a candidate that mo best represents your views is pragmatic. It's basically the logical, it's basically the logical conclusion of consequentialism. And I'm a consequentialist, so yeah. Um, that's essentially where I am. I'm still a socialist. I'm still a leftist. I'm just going to go by like the term sock dem for a while, uh, and, and just focus more on, on more contemporary politics, uh, and what's pragmatic. That's where I am right now. For anyone confused by my post on Twitter, um, I haven't changed my views and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This hasn't, this isn't like spur of the moment either. Um, I've been thinking about doing this for a while. Unironically, I've been thinking about doing this for a while. Um, I would say since since I was still in Florida, um, probably around since June. Um, yeah, it, it's been since around June that I've been thinking about this. Uh, it's just been like the other day that I decided to kind of pull the trigger on it. Um, and my opinions haven't like all that much changed. It's just more so about me being like more upfront with my audience about how I want to go about um, uh, uh, engaging in political discourse. I feel like, cause guys, and I've heard people call me a grifter because of this. This pisses me off so much because I could easily become like a Bernie or Buster, um, like Peter Coffin esque or like Brianna Joy Gray esque or Chapo Trap House esque kind of like, um, hardcore ideologue that just like shits on liberals all day and chills really hard to like the um, uh, uh, to the types of people that that would enjoy that content and would shill over money on Patreon or whatever really hard. I would make a lot more money doing it. It would be a lot more successful. But instead, I've realized um, or I've known this, but I've I've sort of decided that I want to influence actual significant change politically. In my country, it would be more profitable for you to go fascist. That's true. But second most profitable would be for me to go really hard, I like ideologue leftist, right? Um, and just like say liberals are the worst thing ever, right? Like Angie speaks, I would coom when Trump wins. Yeah, like that. Um, so I want to focus much more on like doing things that I think are going to improve the world as much as possible. And this means advocating for uh, particular policy, support, putting my support behind candidates, maybe getting into canvassing when I have enough money to be able to afford to do that kind of thing. Like I'm not making nearly enough money right now that I could like afford to go um, fly out to Georgia and canvass uh, uh, for John Ossoff and Warnock. Um, I, I don't have that kind of money behind me, but one day maybe I could. Maybe I could even do what Vosh is doing and set up a pack. Um, if, if I have enough money for it, canvassing, all that kind of, sh uh, kind of shit, that would be really, really cool. Um, putting my support behind particular policies, educating my audience about those policies. That's going to be a big one. Um, I want to do, uh, 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 educational content about policies that many of you guys might not know about in the future. That's going to be exciting. And of course, we're still going to have a good time. Most of my content's still going to be focusing on dunking on reactionaries, just as I usually would. Um, and, and that's going to be, that's going to be what I focus on. I'm going to ban this person in my chat for calling me Diet Vosh. Suck my cock. Um, yeah, that, that's basically how I want to go about it.
Xander Hall, I highly recommend this book. Uh, it's What Motivated Destiny. It's an amazing book on political modification and effective influence. I'm going to find that online, like as a PDF somewhere. Um, this plan is based as fuck pog. Yeah, I think it is. Um, so the thing that you're going to notice is a lot of people are going to get really mad about, about this, like on Twitter, um, a lot of other leftists. Um, these are people who shouldn't be taken seriously whatsoever. Um, I have no respect for these people who care more about pure ideology as... Um, uh, 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 Zizek would say, and would rather be like perfectly pure. Um, I, I don't care about that. I want to really go hard on pragmatic change. Fuck the LARPers. That's it. How do you feel about Vosh's reaction? If Vosh heard me right now and like heard me go into detail about this, he would 100% agree and be happy about it. Um, he probably just saw my Twitter post and probably thought it was like a meme. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I think Vosh would probably be fine with this. I don't, I, I don't know. Um, Part of this involves also being able to maybe reach out to people like in Destiny's community. Um, the fact that I identify as a leftist um, probably would make the types of people that would watch Destiny way more averse to checking out my content. So that's also part of it. I want to be able to reach out to like neolib types. Imagine being able to reach out to neolibs, leo, neolib types and bring them further left. People who who they're, they're just a switch flips off in their brain when they hear the word leftist or communist or socialist and won't listen to a word you say. I want to try to influence those people because those are the people that we need. Those are, that's the Democratic voter base, and those are the people that I need to move more left um, in order to influence them to push forward more progressive policy. Um, how do you feel about Booksmart's opinion on you? I, I know who Booksmart's is. I didn't know he had an opinion on me. I didn't even know he knew who I was. I'd love to talk to Booksmart's. Um, I imagine he could give me good debate coaching. That would be neat. Um, what do you think, chat? You like this idea? Do you dislike it? Um, I'm interested to see, but that's all I really wanted to say. And uh, I'll be open to answering more questions on stream in the future. So. Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Ring that bell icon so you actually get notified. Follow me on Twitter and join my Discord through the link in the description. Really appreciate that. It's awesome. And then, of course, if you have any extra money sitting around, you don't need it for anything else, and you don't know what to do with it, um, you can always support me by becoming a member on the channel by hitting the join button. Uh, it gives you a lot of cool um, benefits on my channel. You can also uh, uh, sub to me on Patreon if you want. Um, or come to the website, xanderhall.com forward slash live and gift subs, donate, subscribe, all those things there. That's also appreciated. And uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It's always the most appreciated. Thank you.